Alright everybody, welcome back. It's in Cypher Gaming and welcome to the final part of Dark Souls. I don't care how many times I die, because I suck at parrying. I don't care how many times I die, I'm going to beat it tonight. Let me offer up these souls. You love it. You love it. How bad would that have been if I didn't have all the souls? Open up this motherfucking door. Mmm. I was really worried that, um, not uploading for as long as I did, or not having this much backed up for my surgery was gonna really ruin me on my timing for Dark Souls 3, but I guess not, and I love how you can just straight up see the pixel in between there. <laughs> wow. But I really thought it would mess me up, but I guess not. I was actually way farther than I thought. This is only three parts that I missed out on before my surgery, so... I believe there's only like four or five of these Silver Knights to kill, and then uh, the main final boss. I loved it. <sighs> Can we just drink that in? Look at that. That is what Dark Souls is all about, is just entering that area and just getting that, oh. So, it has been an exceptionally long time since the last time I have attempted to parry an attack. But apparently first one, first try went pretty well right there. So we are just going to go right ahead and try and uh, get in there. I believe these just straight up drop chunks all the time nine times every time literally every time you kill them so that was a tiny night chunk I believe this guy's like a white chunk there's like a white chunk a red chunk and a blue chunk and then there's two or three normal chunks so it's it's a lot of chunks that you can get here this is where you would just farm chunks because they want you to have that plus 14 if not plus 15 by now Didn't need to backstab him. Felt good. There we go. Black Knight, great sword, and the red tight knight chunk. Ah, oh, this boss made me so mad. I was just told that you can parry him, and that's how you do it. But I was never into parrying. Like I never actually utilized it as well as I could. I only used it in the very beginning in the undead burgs and stuff, just because it helped that little bit. But, now that I actually really enjoy doing that, and it's actually one of my favorite part of Dark Souls... Oh, missed entirely. It's definitely, definitely going to be a little bit more fun, instead of aggravating trying to learn how to parry in the one spot you need to know it. Just throw him off the ledge there. However, I'm not saying it'll go easier. Who knows? I actually still suck at parrying, so... We do have the Silver Knight leggings, but now we have the Black Knight. I believe they're probably going to be the same weight. I have no idea about defense. So we'll check it when we get to another safe spot, but I just know that there's one download. Okay, we'll take a look at it very quickly, just because uh, it could just be because this is plus five, but it does even weigh more. That's weird. Oh, but it, oh, it looks so much cooler. Hold on. Oh. Looks so much cooler. And no, I will not summon people, by the way. I will not summon someone for this final boss fight. It is supposedly easier solo because you can concentrate on parrying. And also, I feel like it should be a test of my own strength, not just double team the final boss like on Dark Souls 2. But boy, do I like, uh, th that's a subtle difference to make the Black Knight, uh, armor so much cooler. Is just, A, it's a different color, but that fluted neck right there, so much cooler. Definitely helps with the color choice. You got the one with the spear, or the helmet, or whatever the fuck. 
I don't know, it's literally just a sword on the end of it. It's not a halberd. It's like technically not like a spear. There's a specific name for it, but there's the blue titanite chunk. Alright, here we go. First attempt. <sighs> and yes, I did remember to put back the ring on instead of uh, life protection. However, I'm going to put this on just for once. Just because I have it, so why not try it out? Alright, first attempt. I love this music too. Oh, no way that hit. I was behind him. Okay, so the goal is to try and bait out an attack to parry. There it is. That's the one I always use, so I think I have enough time to heal. Ooh, indeed. Although, for some reason, it just didn't work. Oh. I guess I actually have to roll on that one, so. Boy, does that take a lot. Damn. Oh, wow. Alright, good thing I wore that uh, life protection. Alright, now that I've killed the, em uh, the, the enemies, by the way. I will just cut from right here to where I uh, fight that boss. I'm going to kill that bitch as Gwyn. So I'm going to cut right here to the next attempt, whether it be I beat him or whatever. You might see a death montage, but we'll see you there. Alright, attempt number two, kind of running past enemies. I changed up my gear on the way, but uh, we'll see if this helps. I decided to put on Havels just because I feel like it's better. I've never tried pairing that before, and I probably never will again. There we go. Always go for that second one, because it's, to me it's the easiest one for me to see. Remember to lock back on here. Can I backstab him? No. <laughs> never tried normal swinging at him, really, either. Alright. I just decided to put on Havel's gear because I thought might as well go for the most physical defense. And apparently I got 20 SS now. Alright, that hurt. That hurt. Or that can happen too. That's gonna... Ooh, damn near kill me. Double heal. There we go. Try and get things under control here. The main thing you're supposed to do is, like, not move against him, but I find that to be very, very difficult. He's always jumping all over the place. Ah. Alright, so there's the death, and you can see the uh, Black Knight shields there. Alright, cut to attempt number three. Alright, there's number one. Number two! This is attempt number three, by the way. I'm kind of waiting to see how the attempt goes before I even do commentary, just because I know this boss battle is pretty much one and done. If you mess up once, you're. Oh, like right there. Could have had him third parry, but. There we go. Number three! This is basically all the bo boss fight is. It's just if you mess up, though, you're kind of screwed. Because he will grab you and kill you. He does this shit and he does it hardcore. He's Gwyn, the Lord of Cinder. You don't get no fucks. Way to make a cool boss, though. Oh. It's like they know that PvP is the coolest. I could have gotten a parry there if I was close, but... The main thing is, too, is blocking his shit takes a ton of stamina. I thought he was going to go for that. There we go. Get that fourth one in there. Two more. Two more and I got this. Might as well heal. <sighs> that could have been one of them. Could have been one of them. Oh. Ooh. Wow, that didn't hit. 
back up, get that stamina. Alright. Oh, that could have been it. Heal. Just really trying to make sure I'm... Oh, that should have been it. Heal. Just really trying to take advantage of the uh, in between. Try to go here. I don't know if it actually works. No, he just goes right through it. His kick takes all of the stamina, so try and cut down his life just a little bit. There we go. One more, one more. I can do it. I can do it. Yes! Did it! Fuck yeah. Woo! Yeah. Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Victory achieved. And all of those guys are waiting out there too. Alright everybody. I'm not going to walk out here. I believe it's an alternate ending if you walk out. Hopefully picking up my tools doesn't trigger that. But I do want to light this. I do. I always feel that that's what I should do. Here we go. Woo! Dark Souls 1. I apologize for keeping Havel's suit on, I forgot to change that, and the stupid mask. So I do apologize, it kind of loses some of its effect here, by not wearing cool shit like I was wearing earlier. Although to be fair, that katana with Havel's set kind of looks like a samurai almost. So we did it, Dark Souls 1. I'm not going to do the uh, DLC, I, I'm just not. Let me get some nice uh, music in here too. So personally, original Dark Souls. Um, now I said before that I played Dark Souls 2 before I touched Dark Souls 1, even though I've always been told that it was better. And like, obviously I've played it a couple times before doing this playthrough. But, this is just so much better. It's just, it's nice. It has a great ending. Like, Dark Souls 2 had a alright ending too. Like, the ending cutscene was very good as well. But, every boss fight was damn near unique, except for obviously the uh, reuse of the demons there. Um, obviously you can turn the Taurus Demon and the Capra Demon into normal enemies. Which, again, you're so late in the game where it doesn't matter if they bring them on as normal enemies. Um, the upgrade system is fantastic. It could be, obviously, a little better. Obviously, Dark Souls 2 improved that. Bloodborne improved that. Um, literally, the only things that have been improved by games like uh, Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne have been certain mechanics and uh, HUD layouts and all that little minor stuff just working out the kinks like the step up from demon souls to dark souls was just a dramatic step up because they had their system now they had everything they wanted and now it's just fleshing out the small detail but however dark souls 1 story is still to me by far the best here's your end goal here's what you gotta do Oh, you got there? Guess what? There's some more deep shit you gotta do. So you gotta go and complete that. And I just really like that idea so much better than um, Dark Souls 2 where it was just, you kind of weren't clear and there really wasn't a big kind of climax to try and not use a sexual word. Um, there wasn't no big kind of finale for doing what you did. 
and this definitely just felt more satisfying to do what I did. Like literally in Dark Souls 2, you kill four big bosses to open a door that you could have just walked around. And obviously in here, you could not walk around that door. It is kind of strange though how did they decide to just reuse that idea of killing four bosses. I apologize if the singing and stuff is very very loud, it actually is in my ear too. So I apologize for that. But it is just way better thought out as this is why you have to do this. It is literally impossible to do this if you don't do what I say you have to do. Uh, so yeah, it starts off as just, oh, you go explore and kill the bosses and do that. And then uh, you find out you have to ring the bells and then you find out, oh, I've rung the bells so I open the next chapter of the area. And then you go explore that and it takes you to An Orlando where you're like, oh, go place this in this spot and then you have to kill these four bosses. So. I feel like there's more I feel like there's more quests or more completionary stuff in Dark Souls 1 than in Dark Souls 2. Because Dark Souls 2 is literally, oh go kill these four bosses and then go find the king. And that's really it. But in this it's just a whole lot of stuff. And the fact that the designs and all the boss patterns and attacks are unique, everything in every area is unique. I tried to show that off a lot. It just makes the game so much more enjoyable. Kind of just trying to talk through these credits here. I don't think there's that much more to go through on the credits. I'm just trying to think of stuff to praise this game for. And I, in fact, that's the end of the credits here. And we start off just as before. As an undead, waiting yes. to start my journey. The dark side brands the undead. But I do love just everything about this game. Obviously not entirely this everything. Land. I have my few gripes. But overall this is just the such a fantastic game. And, and I cannot praise it enough. So hopefully you guys are hyped for Dark Souls 3. I certainly am no matter how they bad it worries me about certain things. I'm, I just have so much hope for Dark Souls 3 that I really hope it lives up to it. So no matter how worried I get, I know it's going to be better than Dark Souls 2 no matter what. So that always relieves me. I just really hope that it can compare to Dark Souls 1. That is my goal for Dark Souls 3. Is you can look at it and go, "Ooh, what's better, Dark Souls 1 or 3?" I, I ooh, it's a hard choice. It goes back and forth. That's what I want out of Dark Souls 3. Anyway, the first one's first cutscene's almost over here, guys, so I gotta go. Can't praise Dark Souls 1 enough. I cannot. It is just a fantastic game. So, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you with fucking Dark Souls 3. Woo!